The best-selling premium car brand in the world has retained this flattering title for eight consecutive years. The German automaker's global sales for the year 2018 have reached 2.3 million vehicles, which is a fairly significant increase of 0.9% over 2017. However, an increase it is, Mercedes-Benz is already working on maintaining this momentum for the foreseeable future. In that light, we will now focus on the Mercedes-Benz lineup and all the newcomers to the SUV segment for 2020. The 2020 Mercedes Maybach GLS Another Maybach SUV is ready to take the automotive luxury market by a storm. The new Maybach GLS 600 Formatic is a permanent member of the M family. At the front, the full-size SUV features a shiny new grille with vertical chrome pinstripes as seen on the Maybach S-Class facelift and its extra-long Pullman sibling. The chrome theme continues on the lower grille as well as on the side air intake flanked by curved stripes. While the underbody protection reminding you that this is still an SUV is also finished in high-gloss chrome. The side profile reveals bespoke 22-inch alloy wheels, although most buyers will go for the optional 23-inch set with its multi-spoke layout mimicking the front grille. To continue the chrome theme, there are chrome plates on the B-pillars and even similar inserts on the roof rails. A total of eight two-tone finishes will be available, with the Maybach emblem proudly displayed on the D-pillar. Moving at the back, a chrome stripe runs along the entire width of the tailgate and continues on the fenders above the taillights. Yet even more chrome is noticeable at the top and bottom of the bumper, including for the dual exhaust tips featuring a rectangular design. Even the model designation is made in a specific script reserved to Mercedes-Maybach models. Once you are inside, you are going to notice the third row is gone, with Mercedes retaining the same wheelbase of the standard GLS, measuring at 123.4 inches, the only way to enable more legroom was to eliminate the rearmost seats. Rear passengers get to enjoy 43.4 inches of legroom and can relax on seats that can be extended. The front passenger seat can be moved forward into what is referred to as a chauffeur position for even more legroom at 4.4 feet. Luxuries such as ventilated and heated massaging seats and an opaque blind come as standard as does the electronic panoramic sunroof. A fridge with space for champagne bottles can be ordered for the four seat model if you really want to go all out. Power comes from a twin-turbo V8 4.0-liter engine providing effortless cruising thanks to its 550 horsepower and 538 pound-feet of torque, plus the EQ Boost offering an extra 21 horsepower and 184 pound-feet of torque for a limited time. Mercedes says the US spec GLS 600 Formatic does 0 to 60 miles per hour in an estimated 4.8 seconds and tops out at a limited 130 miles per hour, which is more than any owner of such an SUV will ever need. On the other hand, the European model can hit 155 miles per hour. The 2020 Mercedes EQC The all new fully electric compact crossover for Mercedes looks like a successful piece of business already, considering all designated 29 model years have been sold out and most 2020 units are likely spoken for to by now. The EQC is based on the GLC class with which it shares platform and dimensions, but not powertrains, of course. Instead of the GLC's internal combustion engine, the EQC packs dual electric motors and a large 80 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery pack. Their total output comes to 402 horsepower and 561 pound feet of torque, which allows the new crossover to max out at an electronically limited speed of 112 miles per hour and accelerate to 60 miles per hour from a standstill in just 4.9 seconds. The battery itself is apparently able to provide up to 260 miles of range on a single charge. But those are the European market figures. The EPA will likely be more strict with it, but the EQC is still expected to deliver well north of 200 miles of range. A 7.4 kilowatt onboard charger is a standard piece of equipment and can endure up to 110 kilowatts from a public station, which can refill 80% of the battery in about 40 minutes. The EQC's prices still haven't been disclosed to the general public, but it's believed that they are in the range of between $70,000 and $90,000. Pre-orders have already been conducted last year, and the EV has apparently entered the production phase in mid-2019. Apart from this, the all-electric crossover provides a level of refinement we are accustomed to when it comes to Mercedes. A list of available features is also long, and given the EQC's hefty price tag, probably even richer than its platform sharing GLC sibling could boast. The interior itself, however, dons a different theme than is usually the case with plush Mercedes-Benz models by adopting a more contemporary style that relies heavily on touchscreen displays. Overall, though, it will more than likely give any Tesla a run for its money. The 2020 Mercedes-Benz G-Class 
The iconic G-Class has finally received its first major update in late 2018, after being on the market for almost 30 years. The epitome of boxy styling, toughness, and off-road performance, however, still resembles the original which first left the assembly line in 1979. The second-generation G-Class SUVs are, however, slightly larger and more spacious. They are also much more refined inside, and riddled with available convenience and tech features. The G-Wagon's hefty price tag of $125,000 represents a considerable obstacle. However, at $150,000, at least the AMG version isn't as expensive as the S-Class AMG. It's important to remember that the new G-Class sports an independent front suspension which improves on-road ride quality, but impacts its overall off-road capability. Furthermore, there is only one off-road mode in the G-Wagon's drive mode selector. Although it's still more than capable on dirt, the old models were definitely better. The base G-Class SUV is powered by a 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8 capable of raising 416 ponies and 450 pound-feet of torque. The AMG-tuned model, on the other hand, squeezes 577 horsepower and 627 pound-feet of torque from the same mill. If that's too much of a gap for you, another tuner house specializing in Mercedes-Benz models offers a remedy. The Brabus version of the base G550 cranks up 493 horsepower and 524 pound-feet of torque a whole 77 horsepower and 74 pound-feet of torque more than the original. The 2020 Mercedes-Benz GLE The new Mercedes-Benz GLE just received an extensive design overhaul, both inside and out, and it's now even more luxurious and better equipped. What's more, it has finally gotten rid of their predecessor's bumpy ride quality and poor fuel economy. Style-wise, the outgoing model's refined, sharp proportions are swapped with a much softer tone. The grille is larger, the Mercedes logo is still located front and center, and depending on the trend, the GLE's fascia wears either a single central chrome bar or a pair of them. The body itself is slightly beefier than the previous model, wider by half an inch and longer by four inches, and more rugged too. The base model wears plastic fenders that gives it a more robust appearance. It's a fine-looking SUV, but a little too safe. At least the outgoing model has some sharp angles to offset its more generic design elements. The rear end isn't any special either with little design elements to make it stand out. As a Mercedes staple, it has one of the most luxurious interiors around with excellent craftsmanship, solid feeling hardware, and mostly first-class materials. It comes with the all-new Mercedes-Benz user experience infotainment system. This high-tech interface includes voice controls that mimic Siri and Amazon Alexa. The included 12.3-inch touchscreen is sleek and responsive. The available gesture controls adjust settings with a wave of your hand, and the optional video-based navigation system clearly illustrates which street you should turn onto. Smartphone users should have no trouble quickly learning the interface, though some adjustments require navigating through multiple layers of menus. For technophobes, MBUX may be daunting to understand and distracting to use while driving. The GLE 350 comes standard with a turbocharged full-cylinder engine. Don't be fooled by its small size though. This 255 horsepower engine packs plenty of punch and can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just over 7 seconds. Drivers yearning for a little more oomph can opt for the GLE 450 or the GLE 580 models instead. The GLE 450's turbocharged 6 cylinder engine has 362 horsepower and it can hustle to 60 miles per hour in under 6 seconds. The GLE 580's twin turbo V8 packs 483 horsepower and it shaves another second off of this sprint time. Both of these engines are paired with a 48-volt mild hybrid system and an electric motor, referred to as EQ Boost, that adds up 21 horsepower for short periods of time and improves fuel efficiency. A 9-speed automatic transmission is standard with all models. The 2020 Mercedes-Benz GLC With the refresh of the all-new GLE, it's only natural for a facelifted GLC to arrive as well. Having debuted in 2016, the smaller lineup of crossovers is still too recent for a full makeover, but revised front and rear ends, together with some interior changes, are now a necessity. Needless to say, that's pretty much exactly what the Germans have offered. The compact SUV has found just shy of 70,000 new homes in the US during 2018, which makes it one of the company's better sellers and further underlined the need for a facelift. Considering it coincided with the next-generation GLE's appearance, this mid-cycle update actually borrowed a detail or two from the larger line. Interior-wise, the new GLC showcases a wider gap compared to its predecessor. The new MBUX user interface with a 10.25-inch touchscreen and standard Apple CarPlay and Android Auto is a large part of that thought. Reshaped center console and new trim and upholstery also play a role. The base GLC class models get a new 2-liter turbocharged full-cylinder engine worthy of 255 horsepower and 273 pound-feet of torque. 
the GLC 350E, which adds a battery and an electric motor for a combined plug-in output of 315 horsepower, and 413 pound-feet of torque is expected to carry over mostly unchanged. Meanwhile, the dark side of the GLC range will get a performance boost. The AMG GLC 43 should from now on generate 385 horsepower instead of 362, courtesy of the updated 3.0 liter twin turbo V6 that's also found under the C Class's hood. The range top in AMG GLC 63 should develop either 469 horsepower or 503 horsepower depending on the chosen package. Of course, the AMG GLC 63 does have a larger 4.0 twin turbo V8. Most versions are expected to field a new 9 speed automatic transmission. Only the non-AMG units will get a two-wheel drive option. So, what do you think of this list? Let me know in the comments section below.